On your left is an 85-inch mini LED TV, on your right is Samsung's newest 89-inch micro LED TV. And the reason why there's such a big distance between the two is to encourage social distancing at the CES event where this side-by-side -side comparison was set up. So I had to stand right back while filming this footage to fit both displays into the same frame. No consumer camera can 100% capture the full dynamic range of even normal televisions, let alone a 2000 nit micro LED TV. But hopefully you can appreciate the extra dynamism and punch brought about by micro LED TV technology, even against Samsung's own Neo QLED TV which is already one of the brightest consumer televisions on the market. To give you an idea of just how bright the micro LED television was, I had to reduce my camera exposure by so much that you can barely see me when I stepped right in front of the display to provide a sense of scale in terms of screen size. This particular micro LED TV was the 89 inch version, the smallest of the three prefabricated sizes unveiled by Samsung at CES, the other two being a new 101 inch model and the 110 inch model which was already announced last year. Still shunning the much anticipated QD OLED technology so far, Samsung Electronics is continuing to position micro LED TV as its flagship, top tier display technology and even went to the effort of putting up a side-by-side -side comparison against the company's own Neo QLED TV which is based on mini LED backlighting. Because the 89-inch micro LED TV is 4K in resolution, the Samsung Neo QLED model chosen for this side-by-side -side comparison was the 4K model, namely the 85-inch QN90. Now, micro LED technology is self-emissive, whereas Neo QLED is still transmissive which requires a backlight so the difference should be greater in dark scenes. But interestingly, the demo loop contained mostly bright sequences, presumably to dazzle CES attendees so much that they can't spot the seams where two modules are joined together. Yes, micro LED is still a modular display technology, but these 89 inch, 101 inch and 110 inch models will be pre-assembled at factory, then sold to customers, presumably very rich ones. As a television with a bezel free design, low profile central stand, and inbuilt speakers. One thing many people don't realize is that every micro LED pixel is made out of three red, green, and blue LED chips to express true blacks and colors without a brightness reducing color filter on top. So, a brightness of 2000 nits on the Samsung micro LED TV genuinely means 2000 nits on one single pixel without needing to dim it down to mitigate blooming which is what happens on conventional LED LCD televisions. And while I couldn't measure it objectively at the event, there's no question in my mind that I was seeing something spectacular. The dynamic range of Samsung's latest micro LED TVs was just off the charts, and when you combine it with 100% of DCI-P3 color gamut coverage, the Samsung QN90 mini LED television beside it, which didn't seem to be purposely handicapped to my eyes, actually looked dim and dull beyond belief. Because Samsung's micro LED TV is capable of reaching 2000 nits of peak brightness, the South Korean manufacturer has implemented 20-bit processing to not only achieve accurate grayscale and color expression, but also reduce posterization across different luminance steps. And with a longer lifespan than OLED due to the inorganic materials used, in theory micro LED should be the end game display technology. There's only one big problem, price. Last year's 99 inch Samsung micro LED TV came in at $130,000, so I expect the company's 2022 micro LED models to be only accessible to bankers, footballers, and maybe some other YouTubers who buy and return TVs on a weekly basis to produce content. Interestingly, there is a section at Samsung's CES event that outlined the evolution of micro LED technology and the company has managed to shrink down the size of the individual LED chips, hence the introduction of a smaller 89-inch 4K model as shown at CES 2022. I'm also heartened by the improvement in manufacturing process, resulting in a claimed 1500 times faster transfer, which hopefully will bring the price down eventually. If you are looking for another next-gen self-emissive display technology that's not as expensive as micro-LED, 
go watch my coverage video of QD OLED here.